The Palm Beach Civic Association brings you Palm Beach TV, the island's only newscast. We are sponsored by the Fortin Foundation of Florida. Now the news. Welcome to Palm Beach TV. I'm Claudia Shea. Making headlines. All eyes on the tropics as storm formation escalates. Plus, a townwide effort to keep you safe along a favorite biking and walking trail. But first, from Lake Okeechobee to local canals and spillways, an update on the presence of toxic algae in our waterways. Our coverage begins along the Lake Worth Spillway, which is flowing steadily. The welcomed news is, at this point, the water you see moving through here is not from Lake Okeechobee. This map, highlighting the lake in purple, indicates impairments for chlorophyll A, total phosphorus, and total nitrogen, pollutants that cause blue-green algae. Significant water is going through this spillway right now, which is the last spillway that goes into the Lake Worth Lagoon. But all the water that's going in through here right now is uh, basin runoff. It's all, you know, all those communities keeping us protected from floods. We haven't had a major Lake Okeechobee, uh, any kind of meaningful discharge since April. Um, and that's kind of what we're looking at is when will that happen again? The hope is no time soon. When the lake gets too high and releases are needed, water from Lake Okeechobee flows in a few directions, including through the watershed to the Lake Worth Lagoon. In 2021, pollution from the lake made its way into grassy waters and then into Clear Lake, the source of drinking water for our area. While the lake level is currently high, experts say a release is not imminent. And although we've had lots of heat, which influences algae growth, cloudy conditions have helped. The bloom in Lake Okeechobee because of the cloud cover and whatnot hasn't been uh, as bad as, as we thought it could be, if you will, especially with all this extra heat. So right now it's kind of at that delicate balance, but it's creeping up to the point where, you know, it will have to probably eventually be discharged towards us. Town leaders receive regular updates from water managers regarding pollution conditions, potential discharges from Lake Okeechobee, and the condition of our drinking water supply. The National Hurricane Center is tracking a few systems in the Atlantic and the Gulf. While none are cause for concern for Palm Beach County just yet, these systems are a reminder that the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season is September 10th, with most activity occurring between mid-August and mid-October. It's never too early to plan ahead. The Palm Beach Civic Association created a hurricane preparation program titled Into the Storm Hurricane Season 2023. In addition to storm Prep, you'll learn about recent technology that the town of Palm Beach put in place to help keep you safe. What we're looking at here is the town of Palm Beach weather stem station. Essentially what this is, is the town's own weather station mounted right on the top of our central firehouse, right in the middle of town square, basically. This gives us real time weather information regarding lightning strikes, wind direction, barometric pressure. There's a camera that is mounted where you can actually watch the storms and the wind conditions. You'll find our hurricane special on the Palm Beach Civic Association's website. During your next ride or stroll along Lake Trail, you'll notice new safety signs reminding the public that all electric and motorized modes of transport are prohibited. That means no e-bikes, no e-scooters, golf carts, or other motorized transport. The town recently installed 38 identical signs along the path, which spans from Peruvian Avenue and South Lake Drive to north of the Selfish Club. The restrictions are not new. In fact, they were implemented in 19. 1982. However, the signs were installed as a reminder to those who may not be aware of the rules. The only exception to the rule is motorized medical equipment as part of the Americans with Disabilities Act. That's it for this edition of Palm Beach TV, the island's only newscast. Remember to also stay up to date by visiting the Palm Beach Civic Association's website and social media. See you next time. Palm Beach TV is a production of the Palm Beach Civic Association. We thank our sponsor, the Fortin Foundation of Florida, and encourage you to let us know how we can provide news coverage that best serves our members and residents.